What's up, superstars? Back at you with another vlog. I'm down here today in D.C. by the monument. So I'm going to get out, uh, walk around and talk to y'all for a little bit while we're down here. I'll let y'all see uh, the monument and, you know, how it looks up close. And uh, just see uh, if there's anything interesting happening. There's generally, like, people going to be out here, but sometimes you might see... Uh, guys with uh, supercars come down and gather up in the area but uh, doesn't look like that's happening today so we're just going to get out chop it up with y'all for a little bit and uh, see how it goes from there all right be right back with you here in a second okay superstars so i'm back we down here way on foot you can see see what just the uh monument right here behind us yeah right there all the way up so you can see where we are right now i'm gonna walk a little closer to it but just wanted to uh talk to y'all again today uh, just to uh you know just give y'all some little life tips or pointers because sometimes in life you know you want to give people the benefit of the doubt and that's always a good thing you should always give people the benefit of the doubt but one thing you got to realize is that when someone shows you who they really are, you have to believe them, you know what I mean? Don't look past what's being shown to you consistently. You know, people have a tendency to uh, do something, apologize, you know, uh, but they don't mean it, you know? And they will show you over time who they are, you know? So, because everyone starts out doing things that sometimes it crops up and you don't realize that that's the nature of that you know what i mean so and you and the natural instinct is to say well no it's not like that the person isn't like that but they are it's like when the things come pop up and it's like little bit by little bit and you start to see it and realize then you have to believe it you know because that's what happens people do things and uh you know they do it subconsciously initially and then you know because they try not to show that side of themselves but then they start to show you more and more who they really are so those things it's like a catch-22 because you don't want to be too quick to judge someone or make a hasty decision on who they are as a person so you have to kind of observe and just, you know, let them relax around you and feel comfortable that they let themselves, they let their guard down to the point that they are truly being themselves with you. You know, like me as a person, what I genuinely do, I'll listen to someone and I'll listen to whatever they have to say. And I won't say, you know, if it bothers me or what I think about it, I'll just let them talk and just let them continue to uh, get more comfortable with expressing themselves and saying whatever's on their heart, you know, in their mind. Because what that does is, it lets you get to know who they are over time, you know, because, see, comfort zone is a dangerous place because when people get comfortable, they're more likely, they, I mean, it, you know, they, they'll try things that, uh, that maybe they wouldn't do in other times if they weren't so comfortable so it could be dangerous in that aspect but it can be a good thing because they get comfortable like oh okay whatever I say he ain't tripping and then or she ain't tripping and then next thing you know you start to see who they really are you know and the you know the, the veil comes off so to speak so just be be mindful of that you know because people genuinely would take advantage of situations where it's available you know you get some people like me i'm the type of person that genuinely i don't i don't ask anybody for things i don't ask for help i don't do any of that stuff i just figure i gotta figure it out on my own because i don't like to feel like i owe someone and i don't like to feel like that someone's gonna be able to hold something over my head or throw it in my face oh i did this i did that I'd rather struggle, do without, and uh, get it on my own, however I have to do it. 
And that's probably not such a good thing because sometimes we all need a little help. But, I mean, that's just how life is. You know, I, I realized that about myself. I realized that uh, that's one of the things, that's how I deal with things. So I've accepted that part of me and I'm fine with it, you know? I don't, I know that if I make a bad decision, it's because I made it and I have to deal with it. I have to live with the consequences. It's not because someone convinced me or told me I should do something that ultimately didn't work out. And now you're sitting back and you're looking around and it's like, dang, I should have never listened to them. You're right, because no one knows exactly what you're going through. They don't know, they don't understand the depths of what your desires are. Even when you share it with people, they don't get it. You know, they genuinely don't get it. They, you know, they, because it's hard for people to look past themselves. You know, people are genuinely insert themselves or their ideas or ideals into everything. And it's just, it's crazy. You know, it's crazy from the sense that you can genuinely tell someone, pull your heart out or, you know, just completely just let yourself go to the point that you're sharing your deeper innermost thoughts and they don't receive it. Sometimes they're not even listening and or, or either they listen to the beginning, they formulate their opinions, they stop listening midway through so they never genuinely get the full gist of what you're trying to do. And then even then, it's hard because it's like, you know, when you feel a certain way about something or you start thinking about things in a certain manner, it's levels, you know what I mean? It's not, everybody wanna make everything simple. Oh, you said this, so that means that. No, no, no. That's not how the real world works. There's so many layers and levels to things. And, you know, it's something that you can try to make it be simple, but it's really not. You know, or sometimes you try to overcomplicate it because of where your mind is trying to take things and you shouldn't be going there. You have to learn to listen to someone without injecting your thoughts or opinions into it. I mean, and we all do it. I mean, it's not like I'm sitting there saying I'm perfect. Oh, I never do that. No, I mean, we all do it, but I try to, I try to not do it. I try to be cognizant or aware of how I'm dealing with those times when someone's talking to me about something and how I'm reacting or how I'm allowing it to make me feel. You know, it's it's not too many people in this world I can honestly say that can really upset me. You know what I mean? Because I generally say, eh, just roll off my back. It ain't that serious. You know, you're not that serious within my life. You know, you're not someone that is within that tight-knit circle because there's very few people in this world that are in that tight-knit circle that can uh, have an effect on me that way you know so most times people do stuff sometimes someone will do something and for me it's like yeah whatever it ain't worth the the energy to even respond to it and someone else may look like man well i would have did this i would have did that so that's what you would have did you know, don't live your life trying to please nobody else. Don't live your life trying to live up to somebody else's standards. You know, your happiness is your ha your happiness. I was just talking to one of my daughters, is it yesterday? Because originally, you know, she wanted to be rich and she wanted, you know, all of these cars and houses. She wanted all of this stuff. And, I, and, and she realized that she don't really care about that stuff. And, her problem was that she was worried that it would disappoint me, you know, or her mother. Obviously, I can't speak for her mother, so I never do that. But I speak for myself, and I make sure that I let her know that I'm proud of you regardless about any of that stuff. That stuff is superficial. It come and go. Believe me, money comes, money goes. Quicker than you know it, you know what I mean? So you can't let that be your desire. Like, my whole thing with doing YouTube is like, I'm finally getting to talk. <laughs> Listen, most people that know me, superstars, they say, oh, star, he, he don't do a whole lot of talking. And I, it's because people don't listen. 
and it's frustrating when you try to talk to someone they're not listening because they done formulated their own opinions before you even start talking so it's easy to just keep it in but now i got y'all i can talk you know i'm sitting here when i first started and i was like that how am i talk or carry a video for so long but now it's like i gotta limit my videos because i only you know i can't go past 15 minutes i'll figure it out but right now i can't go past that plus i don't think y'all want to be sitting here watching me talk to you for 30 45 minutes anyway you know that'll get a little bit much but the whole point of what i'm saying is that understand allow people to be themselves around you and let them show you who they are and then deal with them accordingly you know that don't mean you cut them off because everybody you don't have to cut them off you don't have to leave them alone or not be bothered with them or whatever you just have to know who they are so you know how to deal with them and then don't don't deal with them like they're somebody or something that they're not and don't live your life based off of what someone else Thinks you should be doing. Oh, you should do this. Oh, you should do that. Oh, you should be here in your life. You should be there in your life. Listen, people have different opportunities. Like people are not created equal. You know, everybody. Oh, everybody's created. No, it's not. That ain't true. Because at the end of the day, depending on where you are, who your family knows, who you may run across, there's different opportunities that may be afforded to you based off of that. So what your opportunities are and what someone else's opportunities are aren't the same so just because this person is oh they they 18 and they got a house and a car they took 35 and they're multi millionaire so what none of that matters to you that's their life don't sit back and like oh i wish it was me no don't envy what anyone has appreciate where you are what you have in your life and if you want something more if you want to do something different you figure out how can i get what i want how can i do the thing that's going to make me happy and focus on that you know because most people live their lives and they're not happy happiness is so difficult it's hard to be happy in this world because this world is the it's designed for people to be happy. It's designed for, for people to either be a consumer, you know what I mean, or a provider. You either you consuming or you or you the one shelling it out. And that's how they want they it's like it's crazy when you think about how many different things they set up. It's like it's a million traps in the world set up to, to bring you to where they want you to be, to make you act how they want you to act or think how they want you to think. And the hardest thing to do is to get out of that. And like me, I'm out right now walking and talking to y'all because that's just like the next level of me not caring what nobody think. They People walking by looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm walking around talking to a camera. But guess what? I don't care because I'm not living my life to please people. You understand? This is something that I wanted to do, something that I thought about, came to grips with. And I was like, I really do want to do this. So I'm doing it, you know, and I want, and, I, and I'm doing these kind of videos right now for multiple reasons. Obviously, this is like to give you all a different side of me to understand me a little bit more. It's uh, to give you all something that you all can look to and try to, you know, uh, identify with who I am as a person to see if I'm somebody that you all want to continue watching. And it's also to give you all some type of understanding or inspiration to realize that you can do or be who you want to be. And it's not based off of what anyone else is doing or who they are. Let it be about you, you know, do your best. You can't do the best for that anyone else's best. You understand? You know, everybody has their limits, their strengths, their weaknesses, their gifts. Use yours and don't worry what no one else's is. Like me, I'm the type of person, like, I don't do, I'm not a multitasker. Excuse me, I focus on one thing, I complete it, I move on to the next thing. That's what my strengths are. That's what I know that about me. So I don't run around trying to do a million different things at once, get nothing done. Because that's what happens, you get nothing done. So I don't do that. And I don't feel bad when I don't do it that way because I know what works for me. And no one can come and tell me, oh, you need to do this or you need to do that. No, you can't tell me that's what you need to do. Obviously, you don't know what I need or she wouldn't be coming to me with that. All right, I'm getting to the limit, superstar. So I'm just going to say, take all of that and uh, let it sink in.
and uh, y'all have a wonderful day. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and uh, hit that notification bell, and I will see you all again soon, and I'm out. Peace.